Son and to the Holy Ghost. Praise ye the Lord. A very warm welcome to our evening song here in St Mary's Collegiate Church at the heart of the city of Swansea. Wherever you are around the world or here, you are most welcome to join us on this Pentecost Sunday. We continue with our office hymn, which will be sung in Welsh, In Vendith Dereim, God's blessing is all we need, which will be sung for us. Here begins the book of the prophet Ezekiel, the 36th chapter, beginning at the 22nd verse. Therefore say to the house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, it is not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I am about to act, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations to which you came. I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, and which you have profaned among them. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God. 
when through you I display my holiness before their eyes. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleannesses and from all your idols I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you and a new spirit I will put within you and I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and make you follow my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinances. Then you shall live in the land that I gave to our, your ancestors and you shall be my people and I will be your God. Here ends the first lesson. My soul hath magnified the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath He, remembering his mercy, hath helped his servant Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Here begins the second chapter of the Acts of the Apostles, beginning at the 22nd verse beginning at the 22nd verse, reading on to the 28th. You that are Israelites, listen to what I have to say. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with deeds of power, wonders and signs that God did through him among you, as you yourselves know, this man, handed over to you according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God. You crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law. But God raised him up, having freed him from death, because it was impossible for him to be held in its power. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand, so that I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart was glad, and my tongue rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh will live in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to Hades, or let your Holy One experience corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. Here ends the second lesson. <clears throat> we sing now the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. Oh, 
which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy, Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, Forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last thing. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, O Lord, save the Queen. And you, thy ministers, with righteousness. O Lord, save thy people. Give peace in our time, O Lord. O oh God, make clean our hearts within us. O oh God, who as at this time did teach the hearts of thy faithful people by sending to them the light of thy Holy Ghost, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour who lives and reigns with thee in the unity of the same Spirit one God, world without end. <coughs> Almighty God, from whom all holy desires all good counsels and all just work do proceed Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and that, being defended by thee from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness through Jesus Christ our Lord. <coughs> A cold vow to gare them the finny, Frank Pope Perigo, a can bad weather those hon, Troy gare the inning fab, and Goredu Yessi Christ. Let us pray. On this day of Pentecost, when we give thanks for the coming of the Holy Spirit, Lord, as you inspired your church, so inspire us that we may go forward filled with the power of your Holy Spirit. Help us each and every day of our lives to be filled with that Spirit and to give your love to those we meet. 
So we pray then for the work of the church here and throughout the world. We pray for this diocese, John, uh, for John, our retired Archbishop. We remember him in his retirement. And we pray for Andrew, uh, uh, the Bishop of Bangor. We pray for him as a senior bishop. We pray for this parish, for Ian, as he prepares to leave after next weekend to become Archdeacon of Monmouth. For him and for Helen, as they move and prepare to continue their ministries elsewhere. We pray for those who will choose a new incumbent for the parish of Central Swansea. For these, Lord, in your mercy, <clears throat> we pray for those, those who meet in the churches and chapels of Swansea and surrounding district. We pray that we may work together in unity and love. And we pray for those who work in the various communities here. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for this city. We pray especially for those parts troubled over this past week, those parts of Swansea, Winewen Road, for residents there, for all those who are affected by the disturbances there. We pray for those who are still traumatized and for those who took part that they may know God's love. May they know you, Lord, and know your respect for us and for each other. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for all who lead this nation, for those in Westminster, in the Senate, in local, in local councils. We pray for all people throughout the whole world. We pray for people of Wales and all other countries. And so then we pray for those who are sick, <coughs> for all those who suffer, especially in the world at this time because of the pandemic, for the people of India. And we pray for those who are trying to bring relief to them, bringing vaccines. We pray as well for the Middle East, for those in and around Jerusalem. For Jerusalem and, and the Gaza, uh, the uh, Palestine, we pray for all those people there, that they may know peace and love. Lord, in your mercy. We pray then for those, as we have prayed, for those who are sick, for those we would remember at this time, for those in hospital and nursing homes and wherever they may be, for those who care for them. And as we offer our prayers for them, we remember those who are bereaved. And finally, we offer to you, Lord God, those who have died, those who died recently, those we would remember at this time. Grant them thy peace. Let light perpetual shine upon them. And in thy loving wisdom and almighty power, work in them the good purpose of thy perfect will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. O oh Lord, support us all the day long of this troublous life, until the shades lengthen and the evening comes, and the busy world is hushed, the fever of life is over, and our work done. Then, Lord, in your mercy, grant us safe lodging, a holy rest, and peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord God, inspire us. Fill us with the power of your Holy Spirit. And we sum up our prayers with the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all evermore. Amen. And so on this day of Pentecost, we conclude with the hymn, Breathe on me, breath of God, which will be sung for us.
May God's Holy Spirit fill you with his power, fire you with his love, and lead you this and every day. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be on you and those whom you love this day and forever. Lord, grant that as we leave this place, we will know we are always in your presence. Christ, our risen Lord. Amen.